Good morning students and teachers. Today we will talk about the airport areas. We usually divide the airport into international and domestic airports. An international airport is an airport with the customs and border control facilities, enabling passengers to travel between countries. International airports are usually larger than domestic airports and often feature longer runways and facilities to accommodate the heavy aircraft commonly used for international and intercontinental travel. International airports also host domestic flights. Let's answer for this question. What is an airport? Airport, it is an aerodrome which is principally intended for the use of commercial services. It is provided with the customs facilities. If it serves any international traffic, if it is designed as an international airport. When an airport does not serve international traffic, it is known as non-international or domestic airport. In practical, an airport can be divided into two main parts, the landing area and the terminal area. There is also a third part, terminal air traffic control. The landing area includes runways and taxiways. The number of runways, their length and location depend on volume and character of traffic. The terminal area includes aprons, buildings, car parkings, areas, and hangars. Airport terminal is a building at an airport where passengers go to depart on a flight, or the building at which they arrive upon landing. There are security checking, baggage checking, amenities, and waiting areas at the terminal. Within the terminal, Passengers buy tickets, transfer their luggage, and go through security. Small airports have one terminal, and large airports have several terminals. Tower highest building on Ayrton, used for ATC. A tower at an airfield from which air traffic is controlled by radio and observed physically and by radar. The tower controls the air traffic and monitors departure and arrival of aircraft. ATC stands for Air Traffic Controller. ATC service. ATC is a service provided by ground-based controllers who direct aircraft on the ground and in the air. A hangar is a closed building structure to hold aircraft or spacecraft. Hangers are built of metal, wood or concrete. Hangers are used for protection from the weather, direct sunlight and for maintenance, repair, manufacture, assembly and storage of aircraft. Hangers large simple building for aircraft maintenance and repairs. Aircraft mechanics and techniques usually work in the hangers. Runways. Runway is a rectangle area, which is used for landing and taking of aircraft. Sometimes it can be used for taxi. Runway can be equipped by lights and markings. On large international airport, more than one runway. A runway is the area where an aircraft lands or takes off. It can be grass or packed dirt or hard surface such as asphalt or concrete. Runways have special markings on them to help a pilot in the air to tell that is a runway and to help them when they are landing or taking off. Runway markings are white. Ramp. Ramp also called apron. This area is used for packing the aircraft. The apron is an area on airport for packing of aircraft due to maintenance refueling, loading and unloading of cargo, and direction of passengers. Taxiway. 
Taxi away connects each part of airport, usually airports or parkings with runway. It is used for taxiing or any movement of an aircraft on airport. It is made from concrete or asphalt. Marking has yellow color. Parking is the specific area of airport at which vehicles park. Thank you for your attention.